Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 8. So we are in the middle of a mystery, a murder mystery in Central City that isn't just your average, you know, Zodiac killer or 10, you know, Ted Bundy case. Those are amateurs. This is a metahuman serial killer who is targeting those feeling high levels of grief and feeding off their grief and presumably getting stronger off that grief. Now, of course, before last episode, it was just some random people that really had nothing to do with Team Flash, really outside of that Irish pub, which had featured in some episodes. But then Chester of Team Flash became a prime target for this killer. And luckily for Chester, he was able to overcome the threat last episode, but this thing is sentient and knows what it is doing. So Team Flash and Barry's ordeal with it is, of course, nowhere close to being over. Now, this upcoming week's episode looks like Frost is going to be the target, but uh, let's see what reveals come our way. Now, when we have seen this black flame villain thing, that's just what it is, like a, a black flame that can take the shape of the source of the particular victim's grief or particular target's grief, might I say, such as, you know, Chester's father last episode, but we don't know actually who it is or maybe what it is or where it came or comes from. And that is the central topic of today's video. When you have a hidden villain with no face or any, you know, familiar features or just distinguishing features off the get-go, there is a good chance that it is like that because we will recognize whoever it is behind the covers. So in this video, we are going to be going over who it could possibly be that is going around Central City as the Black Flame and uh, toasting some people. Now, I am going to split this video up into th uh, fan theories and then my two top theories, with my two theories being split into a personal choice, who I think could be, you know, who I think it could be based off what has been said, as well as just what we have seen, and then a logical choice based off, you know, the recent trend that the show and mainly Eric Wallace, the showrunner, has taken when picking the villains for the graphic novels or story arcs. So if one of the earlier options does sound a bit silly and goofy and you're thinking, hey, Pagey, you're an idiot, that's terrible, it's not mine. I'm just including what others are saying online. But I will tell you when I'm jumping from the fan, uh, the fan theories over to my theories. But we will start with the fan theories. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on all of this, as well as if you have any other theories as well, because I'm only including a handful here. You might have a wild and crazy, but also a pretty solid one that could maybe come true. So let me know in the comments section down below that if you have any and just your general opinions on the ones we go over. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video and you want to show your support and you're looking forward to what's coming our way, you know, in this storyline the rest of the season, why not drop a like on the video to show your support? So first up, we have one that I saw some people saying, but not a ridiculous amount of people saying at the same time. And that's Neutron. No, not Jimmy Neutron, just Neutron. Now, this is actually a pretty solid theory and choice by the people that have brought it up, at least when you consider that not a lot of people are actually saying it. But Neutron in the comics is not a Flash villain. He's not a rogue. That's why you might be like, oh, who the hell's Neutron if you were just thinking about Flash people? He's actually a Superman villain. So that out of the gate would put this as sort of like an unlikely candidate as some or to some, as the Flash has always really used Flash villains for the big bads at the very least, as you would expect. But that could be part of the misdirection on the creative side. But in regards to Neutron, who is he and what can he do? So Neutron in the comics was in a nuclear meltdown incident, which transformed him into a being pretty much made up completely of radiation. He didn't actually have a physical body. He was just a bunch of radioactive energy. However, he did wear a suit that was made, you know, for him to keep him contained, so he could actually just walk around the stuff, but inside the suit was just this, like, floating, like, radioactive energy. Now, this accident gave him the abilities to use this energy, you know, that he was made up of, as a weapon and could, like, launch, like, blasts of nuclear energy, as well as having other abilities like flight and super strength, though those later two would have just been there mainly so he could take on Superman physically and fly around with Superman as well. Now, I guess the theory from some online that the name drops or just dropping of these, you know, titles of like nuclear and cold flu uh, fusion could link to this character and they have just altered the character to make him fire-based rather than radioactive energy straight up. Of course, we're still early into who this could actually be going around Central City killing people, but you could easily alter this character of Neutron from the comics into what we are seeing on the show now with the Black Flame. So I think this is a solid theory. But as I said, it's not one of my top theories, but I think it's still worth mentioning because a good amount of people 
uh, at least some people brought up, you know, good arguments for it. Now, next up, we sort of have a combo choice because I think it's a bit over the top splitting these two up into separate, you know, discussions because it's the same person, sort of, and that's Firestorm or Deathstorm. Now, of course, many have said this Black Flame could be Ronnie Raymond, as we know Ronnie is coming back for a couple of episodes. The first of these not being too far away in episode 11, so not this week, but the week after, and the Black Flame is, of course, a fire meta, just like Ronnie was as Firestorm. Now, one interesting take I've seen is that the Black Flame could be a take on the more comic-accurate version of Deathstorm from the Blackest Night storyline from the comics. Of course, we had a take on Deathstorm back in Season 2 on Earth 2, but that was just evil Ronnie Raymond rather than like an accurate take from the comics. Now, in the comics, after Ronnie comes back to life and regains control of his body, he is still affected by the Deathstorm side of him that had control of him, and maybe that could be what the Black Flame is. It's like the darkness that is harnessing Ronnie's abilities, and maybe these upcoming episodes maybe show the struggle of Barry, Caitlin, and Team Flash trying to help Ronnie with that battle. The only thing that really goes against this is that it does appear that this storyline with the Black Flame goes until like episode 13 or 14, but we are led to believe Ronnie is only in episodes 11 and 12. But who knows, it could be a mislead. You know, we've been misled before in regards to how many episodes a certain character's in, then all of a sudden they're in extra ones and we get shocked or they're in less than we were told because they die or something like that. So it could easily be a mislead. Now, the next one is just a quick one because people mentioned it and I thought, you know what, I'll include it because I could just see someone putting it in the comments as well. But I don't know if anyone remembers back to, I think it was episode six or, oh no, it was episode seven um, when we had that, you know, CCPD lockdown episode with Goldface um, and it was Kramer and Barry working together. Now, Kramer in that episode mentions that she randomly got like heat powers from someone in Jitters. Now, people think this could be relating to the storyline. I don't know if it's just a coincidence I'm going to say it's just a coincidence, actually, that, you know, just before this Black Flame storyline starts, that the episode before, she's talking about someone randomly giving her heat powers. But maybe it could have been Jaco Birch that was in Jitters. Like, that's what it could easily have been. So, I don't know. It'd be weird if they were connecting it to that Kramer thing. Um, but you never know. That could be the case. I mean, if this is if that connects to the storyline, I mean, kudos to the people that wanted to point it out and focus in on it, because it'd be extremely random if that's the case. But next up, this is my personal choice. This is my personal choice. We're heading into the top two theories. So obviously we've got a personal choice and a logical choice. And here is my personal one. And my personal one, and it sounds so cliche and typical, but it's Cobble Blue. And I'll explain why quickly. So in the comics, Cobble Blue or Malcolm Thorne or what the show's iteration of it would potentially be, Eddie Thorne gets his power from the blue flame, the blue flame. That's what, you know, that's where he gets his powers from. So it's pretty easy that they could turn it into black flame based off the fact that Eddie died. And obviously we don't know necessarily where this storyline's going in regards to the hints and clues we could be getting over the next day or two from the next episode that comes out, depending on when I release this video. But I just think it's really like interesting that the black flame is this obscure supergirl character from like the 70s or 80s or something like that and the title's never been used before and then we come into a season where we know eddie thorne is coming back in the present day he's coming back in the present day for multiple episodes and it's just you know you're just switching something up you know blue flame into black flame i don't know it just seems really coincidental to me but in like a sort of like subtle way because it's not obvious because i haven't seen anyone bring up that correlation that be that could be because it's freaking stupid and i'm just on like some crazy pills or something and i'm the one correlating them but i haven't seen anyone mention it so i don't know we just know that eddie's coming back we don't know how or why or when specifically is coming back we just know it's multiple episodes and i don't think it's for the final bit of this season so i think it's for this storyline and especially based around everything around like it's like revolving around death and grief and everything like that i don't know i just lean towards it but I could be wrong. As I said, it's my personal choice, not my logical choice, which we'll jump into right now. And my logical choice is actually a character called Famine. Now, I have to thank people that did link me this and go, hey, do you think this could be it? And it definitely persuaded me to think that this could be a very logical choice for the villain. So Famine is another DC Rebirth character, which Eric Wallace loves. He loves DC Rebirth. He's talked about wanting to adapt characters and villains from that um, period in the comics, which is the current period, I guess, because he wants to involve new readers. 
Uh, which I, I can understand. I support that, you know, that that thought line. But Eric Wallace loves adapting these DC Rebirth characters, which we've seen recently over the past couple of seasons that he's been involved. But Famine is actually one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse that was actually trapped in the Speed Force. Now, what can Famine do? Well, Famine can drain the life force of people and can also possess them. So they could twist that where instead of like draining the life force, it's sort of just like, you know, you technically it could be because he's sucking the grief out. So it's not necessarily the life force, but he's feeding off the grief of people. And also a lot of people think we're getting like this, you know, these characters like maybe Ronnie as well as maybe even Eddie and who else, who knows who else potentially that are getting possessed. And that's what Famine can do. He can also possess them. So if we go back to Eddie for a second, when they initially announced that Rick Cosnett was coming for, uh, you know, was coming back for more episodes as Eddie after that episode six episode with Bart and Nora, they said that he'd be like sort of different when he turns up again in the present day. And he wouldn't be like necessarily the Eddie that we remember. He'd be a bit altered. But even if this famine character is not possessing Eddie, maybe it's also possessing Ronnie like we're talking about before. And maybe that's why he had fire powers at that instant because at that point in time, he's harnessing Ronnie's, you know, Firestorm abilities. I know this is going to be the whole conversation around like, well, you know, Firestorm was Ronnie and Martin Stein combined and stuff like that. But there's workarounds, you know, around that, you know, there's, you can easily work around that. So I think Famine is a very logical choice, but it's just based off the track record previously with the, like the choice of villains, as well as potentially how you could alter this character to use in the storyline. What we've seen so far with this Black Flame character. And it's also a cat, like a, uh, like, a, like a villain you can use that involves the characters that's coming back like Eddie and Ronnie and anyone you want to use like that but it's also a new character as well and it's not necessarily like a full-on mystery where it's going to be like a Scooby-Doo where it pulls off and it's like oh it's this character we've known the entire time it could be this really freaky horror villain he looks scary we know this this arc's meant to be like horror based he looks freaky um but it also involves you know, things from the past as well that bring up that nostalgia. Now, if it's not Famine, all the other ones I've mentioned really brings up the question, are they the villain for the graphic novel? And I think if it's anyone outside of Famine, I'm not too sure. Maybe the whole Cobalt Blue thing, even though I think if it's Cobalt Blue and, it, it, you know, you're sort of like altering the blue flame into the black flame and stuff, you might be rushing it and people might be very disappointed if you go down that route. But as I said, I think this episode or this story, might I say, goes into episode 14 and like with the Ronnie stuff, like it, we're being told it ends by episode 11 or 12. So if it is something revolving around, around Ronnie, then they, I don't know if it can be the villain and it maybe stems off into someone else, whether it is someone else I've mentioned here, like a famine or whatever it might be. But this is probably the, the, the storyline of the show, which I'm the most confused by, but the most intrigued at at the same time. Like I'm not confused in a bad way. It's confused in a good way, if that makes sense, because we just don't know necessarily what it is because usually straight from the go, you know, oh, Zoom's the villain. Oh, Reverse Flash is the villain. Oh, Sabotage the villain. And the mystery is more around, you know, who's under the mask rather than just who is this character? Because I don't know if Black Flames actually the title. It's just like, like it's like literally just a descriptive title because it's literally a Black Flame, but it's more like who actually is the Black Flame? And if so, who is the villain that is being the Black Flame at the same time? As I said, it's confusing. It can be hard to talk about at the same time as well, but that's why it's so intriguing at the same time. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That's all. This is probably a mouthful of a video, a very confusing one. And if it was, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just the way it is sometimes. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it, share support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions about everything we went over. I'm always curious to read what you guys are thinking, as well as if you have any other theories around you know, who this Black Flame villain could be. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.